Welcome back everyone. Today we got a fun project. Been wanting to build one of these for a while. We got Husqvarna 359. Take the factory cylinder off. And we're going to put a 272 top end on it. But we'll get this built up and we'll see what kind of power we make. See if it's worth the effort for the extra 12 cc. Here it is. Husqvarna 359. Look at it. Just a well used work saw, right? Right? That's what we got? No. This one's packing a surprise. We went ahead and added some displacement. That's a 272 XP cylinder, 52 millimeter. So that brings this package to 72 cc's, 34 millimeter stroke, 52 millimeter bore, right there at that 72 cc mark. But you can see we're utilizing the factory carb, carb elbow air filter. Had to have had to add a mount for this spring, for the AV spring. Made an intake boot. That's just a pair of flanges with a hose. Added external impulse to the side. Still got to get the muffler mount done. But overall, pretty happy with the way it turned out. Much bigger. If you don't know what it is, it's awful hard to tell that it's been made so much bigger. That's what she looks like. Here's the factory cylinder. You can see a pretty healthy size difference. Five millimeters. But now we'll go through everything that we have into building this one. But I just want to show everybody what it is, what it looks like under the covers. But what do you guys think? Is this the kind of stuff you guys like to see? Anybody want to run something like this in the woods? 70 cc saw and a 60 cc chassis anybody still use these chassis i don't know or is everybody stuck on the new stuff didn't trade your 357 or 359s for the 562s go to the steels what that ms 400 that'll be a fun one we'll have to see how this compares to an ms 400 what do you think but this will be a fun one this might actually surprise some of those steel boys A little bit bigger than the MS-400. That should be about the same weight. All right, now we'll do what we have of the full build. We'll get into the full build, and we'll get some dyno runs on this one. All right, finally, something a little bit different. Got a pair of cylinders here. Husky 272, Steel 038, both 52 millimeters. And we've got the 359 and one of those two cylinders is going to end up on this not sure which one yet but we'll get this tore down and then we'll start doing some fitting and looking and seeing just which one we want to put on there All right now this 359 34 millimeter stroke, 47 millimeter bore right now. Brings it right up there to that 59 cc's. So if we bump it up to the 52 millimeter bore, that'll bring us right up to 72 cc's, real close to 272 and the 038. But this is a much smaller, lighter chassis. So I've seen this build done a couple different times, mostly on the forums. But I do believe there are a couple videos floating around of them on YouTube. Most people use the 272 cylinder and block and everything and make it work. But I don't know, we'll see. Once I get this off, can check the base gasket versus these two cylinders here. We'll, we'll see which base gasket matches up better. I really like the idea of being able to use a rubber intake boot. I'm just not a huge fan of the 
Not a huge fan of the intake blocks. Plus, I don't really have any two series parts. So that means I'll have to make a block and everything else. But like I said, we'll figure it out once we get this one off. Now this is the saw we got a while back, all scored up, yucky, nasty. Cleaned it up with a new piston. And new piston and it got it running good now. All right, now that should be everything. Now, if you have one of these 357s, 359s, pretty much any of the 50 or 60 CC3 series, and they have this plastic clamp, clamp style intake you'll want to swap that out for the metal one if these get extra hot this plastic gets weak and it'll loosen the clamp up and it'll start sucking air so that's a good thing to take a look at if you just get a 350 346 353 357 359 any of the three series smaller saws they got this plastic clamp you want to swap that out with the metal one Let's see how the base gasket looks on the steel cylinder. Definitely not a lot there. Let's see. Well, that's why everybody uses the 272. You can see most all those holes line up. So as badly as I wanted to use the boot cylinder, we can't completely mutt this one up. Just because swapping the 272 appears to be so much easier. Here you can see the 52 versus the 47 millimeter bore. All right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn this extension down. That way it'll help us locate where the holes need to go. So we'll turn it down, same diameter as this one. We'll shorten it up a little bit, make sure it fits down in the case. Then we'll be right back. Well, we have a little bit to get caught up on, but here it is, about ready to go on. Took 60 thousandths out of the chamber, still wasn't enough to put the gasket in. And it ended up with about 15 thousandths squish with the gasket. So I took 10 thousandths off the top of the piston, so we'll be right at 25. And with it fitted up, gasket 10 thousandths off. The first numbers were 80 on the intake, 109 on the exhaust, 126 on the transfers. So where it sits now, raise the exhaust up, 100. 120 on the transfers, left the intake at 80. This contraption here, I wanted to keep somewhat of a boot, if you will, for the intake. But made these flanges, put a piece of clear vinyl in there, and these are just some wire clamps. Tied in there tight, factory carb, factory elbow, it's all set up. Put an impulse in the bottom, and we add an impulse to the side of the cylinder. But this will be ready to go on. Oh, <clears throat> now we welded in a block so we could put the factory AV spring on there, like so. But we'll get this put on. Hopefully this impulse clears, otherwise, I don't know. But, <laughs> we're going to try and get this put on and fired up.
there's that. Let's take this degree wheel off. Yeah, here's what we ended up with. Muffler mod. Nice little hole under there. Medium deflector. We'll get this bolted up. And then we'll see if it fires off. Here's the results. We got six horse and four foot pounds out of the top end swap versus the slightly over four horse and two and three quarter foot pounds for the stock cylinder. You can see makes all sorts of torque and does okay on the horsepower. Now this power is down for 70 cc's. I'm, I'm actually kind of disappointed with that but I don't have the best luck with the 272 cylinders anyway. Not a huge fan of them. Since we used the steel piston, we really couldn't get any width out of the bore. It's at like 62%. I really like to go 65 plus when I can. But this is a solid, solid power, solid build, lots of torque, broad range. We might have to go back into this sometime, see if we can spice it up where it needs to be because most 70 cc saws are seven horse plus i don't know i did take the air filter off didn't change there maybe it's got some carb issues maybe a kit will really help it flow the fuel this is so i don't want to think it's the carburetor but maybe it is could be a couple of the transitions. There's a few different things. Let me know what you guys think. But this is what we got. Six horse, four foot pounds. That's a two horse gain from where it was when we started. Huge gain over stock. But I'm kind of let down. And that's what makes it difficult. If you don't know, I mean, you don't know what you don't know. So I'd seen these. They always look like runners. Definitely a chance that they're better than what I built. But, when you feel this two horse gain over stock, that's huge. But you compare this one against other 70 cc's, it gets difficult. Just because you want to give the little saw the advantage. Well, it was only this, and now it's that. And look how it feels. But, like I said, if we look at the number, that's less power than most 60, that's less power than most 70 cc saws. So yes, we gained two horse, but we're at a 70cc saw now, so it needs to start putting up 70cc numbers. That's the way I see it. What do you guys think? All right, we're going to go make some firewood and the 359 272. Not your normal firewood trio, but we'll see what happens. All right, no idea how good this chain is. The only one I found for this small mount. But we'll give it a go, chop some of this up in the blocks and see how it does.
All right, we'll see if this chain's any better. Probably not. And they're gonna get the rest of the wood split up while I'm cutting it.